Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. And uh, today we are going to be checking out a new, kind of smaller update, but uh, it actually has some pretty big changes to how the game is working when it comes to farming and cotton because we're going to be able to plant cotton now. But that's not the only thing that I'm actually excited to check out. Apparently, they've added lights to ruins. So I'm assuming by ruins, they mean these things. So uh, when nighttime hits, we're gonna go check out this building here, but uh, let's first go to a trader because we need to get some cotton seeds and apparently cotton seeds take bananas. So I'm just going to grab as many bananas as I can. And oh boy, I think I might need fuel. We're gonna be doing a, we haven't done packing or farming in such a long time. But I'm gonna try my best to get as many cotton seeds as I can this episode. And I wanna, I wanna fill up my farm with cotton and I want to see what kind of raid does a, a lot of cotton, 200, I think we have 200 plots here. What kind of raids will 200 cotton get us? I don't know what tier cotton is considered. Oh, you know what that means? That means I'm going to have, oh, this was all nice and symmetrical. And you know what, you know what this is going to mean? If I'm going to have cotton seeds somewhere, because these are all my seed containers, that means it's not going to be symmetrical anymore because I'm going to be adding cotton. But um, we need bananas. So, ooh, there's a lot of bananas in this chest. Let's actually get a dedicated chest for bananas. Oh man, I'm gonna have to unpack my packing vehicle now so we can pack some banana chests. All right, I guess I'll put this by my base building things. I didn't think about the preparation I needed. I should have done this before. All right, I've unpacked everything off of my vehicle finally, other than my actual fruit stuff um, or food stuff because we have fruits and vegetables. But uh, now it is nighttime, so I actually want to go over to this ruin here and check out to see if there's actually lights on it because I don't actually know if this is what it means. I'm hoping so because I've had a lot of trouble finding my way through these places at night. All right, lower the new drawbridge. And of course, my vehicle's facing the wrong way. All right, I don't see any lights from here, which is kind of concerning. Are the lights just on the inside, maybe? All right, well, let's go up and see if there are, I mean, these should be considered ruins, right? Oh, yes. Oh, look, whoa, whoa. There's something weird happening with that. Hold on. Oh, are those moths? <laughs> this is awesome. I like that. For a second, I thought like maybe I wasn't in the right update or something because I didn't see any lights. This makes it so much better at night. Those ones are off. This is interesting. Oh, is this a fallen light? They changed. Where's my where's my glow stick? They actually changed a decent amount with these. I am a fan of this change. Here, let's go up to the top. There's probably not going to be anything on the top, I don't think. All right. Oh, no, there is something up here. I see light. Where's the light coming from? Oh, these lights don't even work. What is with that? These were not, these are like in the ground now. These were not like this last time I was up here. Yeah, we got a fallen light right there too. Yeah, all of these are like buried in the in the ground now. Ooh, oh, there's actually stuff on this one. Okay. I don't know if that's an intentional side effect of the update or if that's an unintentional side effect. All right, let's head back down. Uh, we're going to get all of our bananas into one chest. I have no idea how many bananas I actually have stocked up. We haven't done, I haven't done farming in like, weeks, I feel like. I don't think I've done farming since I built the catapults and I needed to test the catapults out. All right, so let's grab all the bananas I can from here. This is actually, we're gonna have a lot of bananas to carry. I didn't realize how many bananas we actually had on us. We have more bananas in here. Do we have more in here? No bananas there. A little bit of bananas here. All right, so I'm gonna take all these chests off and I'm just gonna have a single chest of just bananas. These are gonna be our leftover fruit chests though. I can organize those later. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages worth. Oh wait, no, I forgot there's one down here. 12 packages worth of bananas. This is gonna be excellent. All right, now we need fuel. Do I have enough leftover fuel? This is not a lot of fuel. I do not have a lot of fuel. Fuel. I need to go on a fuel run, apparently. Here, I'll take some extra out of here, too. 
All right, this should be enough to carry packages, right? They've also adjusted so that heavier vehicles are like a lot of weight. It doesn't have a, such an extreme effect on um, on your gas consumption. So I think when you're getting really, really heavy on your vehicles, you're not going to see as huge of a drop off for fuel consumption. So that means that carrying these packages might not be as big of a deal as it would have been before this update. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my interactive... There we go, interactive pieces over here. All right, let's go buy as many cotton seeds as we can and see if we can plant ourselves a decent harvest that can then get ourselves a full-on harvest of, of uh, cotton for 200 cotton and hope that this doesn't completely destroy our base. I don't know if that's gonna trigger, like, why is none of this working? Oh, I should probably put this up a little bit, huh? I'm wondering if the cotton is a, a high enough tier of a crop to, hey, my cows are back. I wonder if cotton's a high enough tier of a crop to trigger the bosses. And Hank is still gone. I don't know where Hank I don't know where Hank went. He hasn't been around for a while. So we're gonna have to get a new Hank at some point. Oh, I just forgot. My trader is over here. I don't think I've been to the trader since I moved to this area. Wow, the trader's so close. It's literally right over the hill. It's even closer than it used to be from, from the mechanic station. But I like how they gave me the cotton update after I already did all of my like major garment box episodes. <laughs> I haven't had, I don't have like any garment boxes anymore, so cotton's relatively useless for me. Ooh, oh no, okay, all right, we're good, we're good. I just realized, I don't know why I'm going to the trader right now. I know he needs bananas, I need to go to a packing station. All right, I'm pretty sure the bananas are at this packing station. Yes, all right, I was right. I was worried that I made the wrong choice. All right, it's been a long time, Mr. Packing Station. We haven't seen each other for a while, but um... I think it's about time. All right, so this is probably gonna take a little bit. I need to deposit 12 packages, so 120 bananas. <laughs> oh, I think this is it. We did it all. So we should have 12 packages. Was it 12? 12 packages here. Does it look like 12 packages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yep, we got 12 packages of bananas. I don't know if you guys heard, but um, we got 12 packages of bananas. All right, bananas are all packed up. Let's get ourselves some cotton seeds. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh <gasps> no, get up. Why are you hitting? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that this just happened. He just broke, he broke my bananas. I have one less package of bananas because of that guy now. Wow. I've never had that happen to me. Why did he go after my bananas and not me? Actually, if he went after me, I would have died, so that would have been pretty bad, too. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to flip this thing over. Oh, 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 wow. I pulled it off. All right, I'm going to turn my engines down a little bit because that was apparently a little bit of ex a little bit excessive. All right, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages, unfortunately. So that's gonna cut down on the amount of seeds that we can get. All right, Mr. Trader, I hope you like bananas, cause I got a hundred and ten bananas for you. All right, there we go. Let's see how many bananas I actually. I don't know if I had any bananas already at the trader. I now have eleven. No, I had all, all my bananas were gone. All right, check it out. Check it out, cotton seeds, five cotton seeds. You know, I'm just gonna, let's buy them all. All right, how many cotton seeds did I just buy? 15? That's not, that's actually not a whole lot. We're gonna have to do a couple nights of farming before we can fill up our entire plot, which means this is gonna be a long recording. <laughs> all right, let's head back and plant these seeds. The sun's gonna be setting soon. Um, I guess I'll plant the seeds tonight anyway, despite the fact that we're gonna get a raid kind of like right away. Oh, that's a, I just didn't, I didn't think about how long does cotton take to grow? I guess that'll tell us what tier cotton is once we see how long it actually takes to grow. And this engine is way too powerful again. All right, we are back home. Let's plant this cotton as quick as possible. And fortunately, I have a ton of fertilizer that I've just been stocking up on for occasions just like this. So that way we're not going to have to wait nearly as long. Let's go ahead and start the watering process. Apparently, they've also reduced the weight of the cannons, which, um, I guess should help with, I don't know, setups like this where the cannons end up having, having to, like, pull down on pistons or whatever. All right, there we go. That's all of them. That, there we go. That's all of them right there. So let's go ahead and fertilize them all. 
All right, I'm gonna stick with just this. I don't want my raid. Uh, I don't want my raid difficulty to build up on things that aren't cotton. So I'm gonna stick with just cotton for now. And actually, speaking of food, I don't have any like other food on me. Oh, I have these eight bananas on me that I'm gonna save for hunger. And I have no more milk on me. So let's go get some milk from over here. All right, I think we're good. So I'm gonna pretty much guard my crops. I want to see how fast these things grow. And then we're gonna have a raid tonight, and we'll see how much these 15 crops will get us. Probably not a lot. The next couple of harvests are they're gonna build up though. Actually, in the meantime, why don't I just go out and get some corn and bring them back to these cows here? I'll just I'll just harvest the stuff that's around my base, like beeswax, corn, things like that. All right, cows, you got a minute before the raid comes. Enjoy your final meal. <laughs> they should be a little bit more concerned, shouldn't they? I don't know. Why. I wouldn't really be hungry right now if I knew that. My single biggest threat to my life was coming in a single minute. I'm like, oh, corn time. Time to eat some corn. Nom, 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 nom. Death approaches. Must enjoy meal. All right. Raise the drawbridges. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got our traps. We got our bounce floor all activated, and we got 30 seconds to go, and the cows are just enjoying a nice meal. Do you think they're going to get caught up in this at all? Or do you think, uh, you think they'll be nice and safe and just eating? I guess we'll find out in 15 seconds. What if the cotton brings tape bots? <gasps> that would be terrible. All right, here we go. Here we go. Should be a small raid. Should be a small raid. Okay. This is actually like a super small raid. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, look at these guys. You thought you guys think you're clever? You guys think you're clever, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what you're supposed to do at all. Where are you going to go? Okay, he avoids the saw blade just as planned, and he actually comes over here. And then he gets ragdolled. All right, that worked out great. That was a super tiny raid. So maybe maybe these crops are not really that uh, valuable as far as the raid uh, value goes. Is that all of them? Did anything else come from the sides? I think we're all good. I think we're all good. All right, let's turn this off. Check in on our crops. Looks like they're halfway done. Yeah, they're still growing. They're halfway done. So they might actually sprout soon. Oh, I forgot to actually look at the cows during the raid. It looks like they're all still here. They ventured just a little bit away from where they were eating, but we got all of our milk. All right, so I don't, I don't think they had many problems. We only had like four bots. That was kind of ridiculous. That was a ridiculously low raid. Woo! Oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs> all right, so now it is a waiting game. We just gotta wait for these things to sprout. Let's, uh... Let's wait. Welcome back to an actual cotton harvest. Uh, this is our first ever harvest of cotton, and I'm gonna try to harvest it uh, quickly so that we can start planting quickly so that we can start getting our next set of cotton. We only have, we have 29 seeds this time. We got 15 cotton, 29 seeds out of 15 cotton. So that's less than two on average. So I'm gonna plant uh, my first seed right here because I got to thinking throughout the night. Did you notice that most of the bots, they targeted the far left side here, like way far left. We had them come in from this general area. And it also happened that my crops were planted over in that area too, right in that left corner. So I'm gonna do an experiment here and I planted my very first one front and center. Cause I'm thinking perhaps where they target on your farm is based on where you planted your first seed of that harvest. And this is all we got. I don't I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do in one episode uh, an entire 200 seed thing. It's going to take more time to do that than I thought. Um, here, let's get some more of this. Let's get watering going just in case. Just in case we need some more water on these crops. Can never hurt to have more water. It can in real life, but not in scrap mechanic. All right, so I actually didn't keep track of how long. Whoa, what is happening here? This isn't working. Okay, that one worked. That one worked. I think that one worked. All right, there was some weird thing happening. Uh oh, oh, turn these off, turn these off. Something weird was happening where it wasn't... What? 
You see that? What is... That one, that one doesn't work. That one's not working. I'm wasting fertilizer on this. Why is that happening? This one isn't fertilized. I can't fertilize this one. Why can't I fertilize this? This is making me waste fertilizer. I don't like this. Oh, that one worked. These three won't work. Huh. Well, that's an annoying glitch, isn't it? Alright, well, we're gonna let these grow in the day. I didn't keep track of how long it took me to plant the other ones. This was around, like, 9 that I planted them. 9 a.m. So I guess for this day, what should I do during the day here? 13 minutes. I guess I can go get some fuel because I am kind of low on fuel. So let's do that. All right, I had a pretty good night of harvesting. Looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 200 oil. And one, two, three, four, five, 60 glue clam. Not actual glue, but 60 glue clam. So that's a pretty decent harvest for oil, thanks to the update where they increased the take rate. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a bunch more of this. Actually, I'll just I'll just have that on loop. We'll just have that going the whole time. Just a whole bunch of fuel. All right, and we got four minutes, less than four minutes until our next raid, which is going to be a 29 crop raid, I guess. So at this rate, um, if it, if it maintains an average of about two seeds per cotton, then next time we're going to have 60 cotton. And then the next time we're going to have 120. And I am running out of time because I still need to edit this video and I might be out a little bit late if I do the full 200. So I'm going to go at least, I guess, at least two more nights, which will be like an hour. And hopefully, oh wait, these are mostly, all right, you know what? Let's just start doing it right now. We might as well, right? Yes, yes. I didn't realize that they were like already sprouting. Okay, um, let's go ahead and plant, start planting already, start watering too. All right, that one sprouted. There we go, another couple of seeds. There we are. All right, I actually need, dang it. Actually, no, I can just use my buckets for that. Those are where the other seeds were. Why am I stuck? All right, we can water that and we can water, oh, I didn't need to water that. So hopefully this doesn't glitch out like it did before. Another minute. So pay attention for this raid when this happens. Where are they going to target? What area do the, are they going to be going towards? Is it going to be the middle this time? Or is it going to be kind of like some arbitrary side like it was last time? Well, it wasn't. I don't think it was arbitrary, but that's the question. Wait, why is that one already fertilized? That doesn't make any sense. There's some weird mapping issue with these, I feel like. All right, we got 30 seconds. I might actually be able to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. All right, perfect. I think they're pretty much all fertilized. We've got 15 seconds left. Let's turn on the thing. Our drawbridges are up. All right, we're ready. 10 seconds left. That was perfect. Everything's all watered. Everything's all fertilized. This is good. This is good progress. All right, bring it on. Look at this. This looks much more centered, doesn't it? Oh, except for those guys. Except for those guys. Hello. Anybody over there? No. Oh, no, no, no. Do not attack the sensor. Are you kidding me? Are you stuck? You're not even going to try to attack that, are you? He's afraid of the saw blade. That's good. I hear... I hear something being attacked. What's being attacked? No, 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 no. Oh man. That's gonna cause issues, really? Okay, well, we're learning stuff. We're learning stuff about this raid, so that's good. Hmm. All right, we need to figure out what to do about that then. We're gonna have to give them a way to walk up it or something. All right, well, that raid's done. This seems to be, that was, that was night two. All right, well, we have a while to wait until these ones sprout. So we should have 120 by the next harvest, around 120 by the next harvest. So I'm actually gonna spend this time, um, I said I was gonna start with more base building. So why don't I actually just do that? And I'm gonna start with some base building. So what I wanna do is I wanna measure the height of a second floor. 
because I want to start building up. Oh, oh, that was not where I meant to put that at all. I want to start building up. I think I might have to move some of these, unfortunately. So let's see, how big is my biggest vehicle? Is this my biggest vehicle? All right, time to do some measuring so we can start building here. This is one, two, three, four, five blocks tall. That's pretty good. That's pretty good use of space. All right, how tall is this? 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 should be plenty. Heh, <laughs> that rhymes. 20 should be plenty. All right, so then how big are these? One, two, three. So that's not going to work out very well. So if those are 20 and then these are five and then I have this three on the base. Do I have any other pieces? I don't. I didn't bring any of like the spacers or anything. All right. And then we can build up from there. So that's three plus five is eight. That would be 21. But then the floor that I actually build on top of that. What am I building the floor out of? I don't know. I didn't think about that part. I actually have to build the floor out of something up here. This is going to be like the workshop area, so I kind of want it to be like I had in the other place. So let me do a quick uh, test by putting some of this up here. All right, we got that, and then we're going to drag out this way. So if I'm up here, can I reach? Yes, I can reach the bottom. That's good. Because what that means is if I have a vehicle parked under me, I can reach whatever chests or resource collectors I have on it. All right, so this is a good start. Oh, I can hear the cotton sprouting. <gasps> no way. I don't have enough space in my inventory to harvest it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We really got to we really got to be on top of this. We might get two harvests in a day. <gasps> that would be so efficient on time. Okay. Come on. All right. There we go. And let me just go ahead and deposit the rest of the stuff back in here. All right. It is time to harvest. It is time to harvest. <gasps> yes. Yes. It's so early right now. We're definitely going to have a whole nother crop of this. Oh, I got to make sure I don't accidentally take anything else. I was predicting about 120 seeds for the next harvest. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 110 so far. How much am I going to get from one, two, three, four, five? Another 10. Definitely another 10. There we go. Finally. Thank you. All right. Now let's start the watering. Okay. This is good. This is good. So we should have, um, whoa. Did I just miss these before? That was weird. Oh man, that one got missed for watering then. So now this is more than 120 actually. All right, let's try to count this even though I did a terrible job. So this is 100 minus four. So let's just say 100 and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 4, 130. So we got 130 out of that when I was uh, expecting 120. So we're we're ahead. We're ahead of schedule. So that means that, oh, I got a, uh, I am definitely not gonna, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 30. Oh, okay. I do have enough to fertilize all of this. Man, I am, I am going through all of my fertilizer. But I think by tonight, we should have a harvest of this, and then we will have uh, all the seeds we need to do a complete full 200 crop harvest with the entire farm, which I think is super, super quick progress. And I'm guessing that we're not going to have to deal with any boss raids. I'm hoping because these seem to behave like a low tier crop, especially the amount of time that they take, even with fertilizer. All right. Every single one of them is uh, fertilized now, and we are totally out of fertilizer. How much does it cost to make fertilizer? I don't remember. They've recently added the ability, but I'm not going to need to fertilize anymore. The only reason I'm fertilizing right now is so that I can get as much of these harvests in one recording as I can. I can be patient otherwise. Ten oh, it takes seeds. It takes 10 of these seeds. Oh, I can get... Oh, wow. That's 30 seeds for 5 fertilizer. I mean, you do get a lot of seeds, though. I have chests full of these seeds. And let's get to building the second floor again. Oh, this is starting to look cool with these pillars. I'm so glad I was almost not going to take these pillars from the warehouse, but I decided to eat despite how much inventory space they were taking up. All right, I'm out of my material. It's all gone, but I actually need to create a hole anyway. So let's make sure I'm right where the center is. How big on either side should we have? I feel like we can have that should be okay there. We should be able to get whatever we need through this kind of hole right here. So how does this look from underneath? It's kind of a pretty small hole. 
But I mean, I think it'll serve the purpose. You know what I mean? I gotta pay attention to the time. I need to create, I don't know if it's uh, reliable to create some type of raid timer. If you have a bunch of timers going on like a 24 minute cycle, will it always line up to the second or is there gonna be some type of, you know, uh, tick rate delay or something with that? All right, so you know what? I'm gonna start crafting. You know what would you know be really, really nice I'm realizing? If we could set a craft limit, a repeatable craft limit, because if I want to turn, I have only 657 metal. If I want to turn that into this stuff, but I don't want to use all of my metal, it'd be nice if we could set a certain limit. So like, hey, keep repeating this until you reach this many. Ooh, let's check on the crops. I totally wasn't even thinking about the crops and we have a minute and something. All right, looks like the crops are close. They're probably gonna sprout just after the raid. And I'm actually gonna get my spudling gun ready for this raid. How much ammo do I have? I need more ammo. Cause I don't think we're gonna get any big reds, but it would be very unfortunate to be unprepared for the, such an occasion. Last time they were a little bit more centered, but I did have some coming in from over there and I'm definitely going to have to, I'm gonna have to do some, Oh, it's, it's starting to sprout now. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Of course, now that I have raids coming in, cows are like, what's going on over here? They've been ignoring me this whole time. All the cotton spawning in. All right, here we go. What kind of raid are we looking at tonight? Third night in a row, and now we have a lot of cotton. Oh, I should not have done that. He was totally gonna get, uh, oh, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Did I enable the floor? Whoa. He went flying. They're going flying. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to manage this before they get on top of each other. Oh, what's happening? All right, this is fine. This is all fine. There we go. We got one Haybot trapped in the tra uh, the catapult trap, which is amazing. All right. This worked great. Let's take care of these guys before they cause trouble. Hey, 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 don't run away. I'm shooting you. What, where are you going? That's not the direction you're supposed to be going. Oh, you escaped the, you escaped the trap. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. There we go. And we'll just take care of him like this. That was a much, much bigger raid and it seemed relatively centered. They are spawning more over here though. So, oh, wow, look at this. This is awesome. All right, we're gonna have one more really, really big raid after this. How are we doing on inventory space? We're doing pretty good. How's this going down here? Oh wow, we got some stuff to collect here. I just keep putting holes to collect these things. I know it looks bad, but I mean, it's net. It's made of holes. Technically, by putting a hole in the net, I'm making less holes. Oh. Somebody somebody is still here. Okay. He's just chilling in the water. <laughs> I almost swam right by him. That's funny. All right, so I got some pretty good loot from these guys. Got a couple of component kits, some circuit boards. All right, so now I am going to harvest and replant for a full crop now. And now I'm out of fertilizer, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna be able to actually, um, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna have to wait the full length of time for these. All right, man, look at this. Oh, there's one that hasn't sprouted right here. Oh, there, okay, now it's sprouted. I think that's all of them. All right, are you guys ready? I promised this at the beginning of the episode and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to deliver on this in time, but I am cutting it pretty close. This is, if this video is late, you know why. <laughs> but I'm gonna do one more, one more uh, harvest and it's gonna be a full harvest of cotton. All right, here, let's drop all this cotton off. Cotton, 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 cotton. Look at all these seeds. Oh, I should color it pink. I should color it pink because the seed thing is pink. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make that pink. Now it is time to water and plant again. So let's just start the watering process. This time I'm gonna start right on the left side of this one and we're gonna see if that makes them shift slightly left in their spawn area. Oh wait, I'm stupid. This isn't for cotton. This is for cotton seeds. I put my seeds in here, not my fruit or not my actual food. Don't worry, I figured it out eventually, right? All right, so the unfortunate thing about this is I'm gonna have to wait a full uh, a full day, I think, for them to sprout, which means 
if I want to get a thumbnail of a full harvest, it's going to be nighttime, I think, when these sprout. Which means I can't harvest them during that night, which therefore means that we're going to get another raid after this night, because I'm going to have to wait till the sun rises. But it looks like we have no problem with a full crop of 200 cotton this time. Everything is planted. I didn't miss any spots, I don't think. All right, everything is planted. Everything is watered. We're all good to go. So now I'm going to take this out of here because we actually don't want that. This is for seeds. There we are. Well, now we're not going to have to worry about uh, garment boxes anymore. I forgot my craft bot is still crafting that uh, extruded metal. How are we doing on the extruded metal? How much metal do we have left? 267 metal. How much does it cost? It takes five metal to create 10? That's pretty efficient. That's not bad at all. All right, this is how much I've gotten so far. You know what? Let's put both craft bots on this job. Oh, actually, I just also realized um, I have a bunch of fuel that I haven't retrieved. How much fuel do I have? Oh, yeah, look at all this. All right, time to refuel my vehicles. Got more fuel there. Got even more fuel here. All right, tree harvester, you get a full tank of fuel. Scout vehicle, you get another full tank of fuel. And I got 14 left. I guess I'll put it in my mining vehicle. Well, there goes all my fuel. I didn't even get to refuel all my vehicles after that 100, after that 200 fuel run or 200 oil run. All right, so let's put, I want to put some more pillars. Let's grab this. Um, do I have more of those pillar bases? I need four more. I hope I have enough. One, two. <gasps> Just two? Okay, three, four. I thought I didn't grab enough. We're good though. I just want to make sure that these are going to be wide enough on the sides so that my vehicles can drive in between them. And that should be plenty wide enough. Uh, I just noticed that my craft bots are no longer making any noise, which means uh, I've used all my metal. I'm going to have to do some mining soon. I'm going to have to make a new mining vehicle. I want a mining vehicle that refines as it mines, just like my tree logging vehicle does. All right, and I am out of material again. Let's go ahead and see how much do we have left now. All right, I've got not a lot of extruded metal left. Oh, I got 30 wood. I can use that. All right, 240 here. Is that all of it? And 10. That's all of it. That is all of my extruded metal. All right. Well, once again, a huge resource sink. And you know what? Now that I'm actually making this wider, I need to adjust the center point of this hole. Okay, time to remeasure the center point of this and figure out how big... I'm actually going to want it. All right, I feel like this, this is not bad. This is a little bit more reasonable. And that gives me a little bit more of my material back to play with like this. This is all we're missing right here. All right, here we go. So we got the beginnings of our second story workshop. We just need some more metal, some more extruded metal. So we might be making, we might be redesigning a mining vehicle. I keep rhyming with the mining. <laughs> I want to have a refining mining vehicle. We're redesigning a refining mining vehicle. So while we wait for this uh, nighttime raid to happen, I've been reading your comments on the last uh, video about what you guys want to see in the base. And I'm seeing a lot of suggestions. I am going to say outright though, I don't want to do vehicles on a second floor. I'm going to keep the, like you were saying that I should put parking on a second floor. Or I should have a second floor for vehicles. The reason being is some of these vehicles are really, really complex and they have a lot of connection points, a lot of moving parts, a lot of bearings. So if these have to interact with some type of ramp or something else with bearings or some type of lift or a lot of you are saying like, oh, do like a rotating car parking thing. Um, I cannot see that not lagging. Like that's just going to be a lag fest if these have to actually get on some type of mechanism for some type of fancy parking thing. So we're going to have to keep the parking relatively simple. And I think that uh, it's going to be the best use of energy if we keep these on the ground floor because it's really easy for them to get down here. So we may, maybe we can have this be like a, almost like a parking garage. Like maybe the bottom floor, maybe our entire base is elevated and the bottom floor is just vehicles. That could be something. But I was seeing a lot of people like, we definitely need a dedicated dress spot room. Um, we should have a bathroom. We should, well, why is it lagging a little bit? Didn't like me being over there. Yeah, we should have a bathroom. Um, we're definitely gonna have a storage room. Actually, that's an interesting thing. Storage versus crafting. Okay. Whoa, what? Uh, excuse, what? Are you, you better not be leading a uh, hay bot over here. All right, he's chasing those guys. Welcome. Welcome to our, actually, what do we name it? What do we name this place? I need a name, you guys. What are we gonna name our base? 
Leave, uh, leave suggestions for that down in the comments below and leave uh, likes on comments that you like the name of. Okay, three minutes left. These have definitely not sprouted yet. We're gonna have a whole nother raid after this, but uh, I might save that for later. So, all right, Cal, uh, you're with me now. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> He's like, no, no, let me out. What do you do now? What are you gonna do now, huh? You're stuck. You have no access back to land. I got thinking about the cows the other day. I kept calling the cows he. A lot of you were commenting like, hey, they produce milk. Clearly they're not males. But I started thinking about the location of the udders and the implications of this. Cows are milked from their udders, right? But these udders are on their head, which means that if you're milking those udders, you're getting fluid from its head. So I think, I think this wok milk, that's just an innocent name for brain juice. This is, this is cow brain juice. Like you're, you're not just milking a cow, you're milking its brain. Think about that for a moment. And that could just be like, I'm not saying that that's bad for the cow. Like perhaps the cow needs to have its brain milked. Otherwise it might get a swollen head and potentially that, that could be, that could be dangerous. It's like a symbiotic relationship between us and the and the animals. We relieve the brain pressure and it gives us tasty brain milk. I don't know, just food for thought. Just a thought that popped into my head as I was thinking about the implications of the, the way that these cows are designed. Oh, did you want to come up too? You know, don't judge me for this. I just I just really want to see what happens here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I left my lift out there. That's probably not a problem. All right. Um, no, nah, he's good. Oh, yes. Yes, they're flying all over the place. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I forgot to activate. Forgot to activate the thing. How could I be so reckless? Oh, man. They're totally flying. This is awesome. All right, let's just take care of these guys. They get out. Wait, 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 wait. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? No, nope, we're all good. I think we're all good. It is time to start taking care of the bouncy, the bouncy stragglers. There we go. Oh, they're distracted by that saw. What, you want to attack the saw blade or something? All right, how are we doing over here? Anybody over here? Nope, we're good on that side. Okay, oh, oh, no. Why are you attacking that? What, I've never seen them do that. Why are they, why are they facing this? Is it because of the cow? Did you ruin everything? They've, I've never seen them behave this way this close. Usually only when the water stops them. That was a weird behavior. Oh, and now they're starting to sprout. Man, they, they did some damage to this. Just a little bit. Fortunately, the sensor's okay. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. Fortunately, the sensor's okay. Everything else seems to be okay. I'm gonna have to take some resource collectors out here and start harvest and start uh, refining these legs. All right, so I'm gonna wait till daytime and we're gonna check out how beautiful a 200 cotton harvest looks like. Fully sprouted. I'm curious, if I let these bridges down now, do you think he's gonna walk out? <laughs> Get it, walk out? Oh my goodness. He actually did. Oh, no, he's just standing there now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna try something new. All right, you ready for that? You stay right there. Okay, you ready? You ready, Calbert? I'm gonna call you Calbert. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I expected to happen, but that was, that was fun enough for me. All right, and this is our harvest of the Haybot legs. We got um, almost a full container, not too bad. All right, now that the sun is up, let's check it out. A full harvest of cotton. Holy cow, that is actually a lot of cotton. That is so dense. It's gonna be a nightmare to pick all this up. I'm gonna have to really get rid of my, open up my inventory here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We got to check out the new stuff in the update, the lights in the warehouse, the new cotton seeds and stuff. And we have a full on cotton farm right now going on. And we also did a little bit of base building. We started our second floor, which is awesome. Still looking for suggestions or just not even suggestions, but just, I wanna know what you guys are interested in seeing when it comes to the base. But uh, I think we're gonna need some more metal for sure. 
Um, so we might be doing a redesign of the harv of the miner soon. I want to have a mobile refinery on that thing. Make it a little bit more efficient on my time going out so I don't have to keep coming back and dropping stuff off. So yeah, if you have any tips for that, feel free to let me know down in the comments as well. All right, if you missed any previous episodes and might want to just catch up to where we are now, then go ahead and check out some of this stuff on the end screen right here, as well as some other videos that you might like. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.